In this video, I will show you how to track conversions with Pinterest Pixel. This will help you measure which campaigns perform better. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel. If you're new here, I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GTM, consider subscribing. When it comes to paid advertising, it is crucial to track the success of your campaigns. And that can be done with a thing called conversion tracking. Conversion is an interaction that is important to your business. For example, a purchase, a sign up, or something else. So if you're sending paid traffic to your website, you must know which ads are more effective and drive more conversions. So let's take a look at how can you track conversions with Pinterest tag and Google Tag Manager. In this video, I presume several things. The first one is that you have already created an account of Pinterest ads. And the other one is that you have already implemented basic Pinterest tag implementation with Google Tag Manager. If you haven't done that yet, then I have a tutorial about that where you will learn how to track page views and you will find the link to that video below this video. So basically you should already have the Pinterest page view tag that fires on all pages and tracks page visits and sends that data back to Pinterest. Now let's take a look at one example. Here I have a contact page. So let's say that I have this contact form and I want to track every time someone submits that form. Then I will treat that as a lead and I will send those events as conversions to Pinterest Pixel. So the successful form submission is counted when I submit the form and then I, as a visitor, am redirected to a thank you page. So let me submit the form and here is the URL of a thank you page. First of all, we see the success message, but also the URL now contains a parameter called contact post that equals true. So what we can do is that first we can create a trigger that we will use to fire our Pinterest event. So let's copy this part because this is unique for the thank you page only. And I will go to Google Tag Manager, Triggers, and click New. Then Trigger Configuration, Page View, and then I will enter the following condition. Page URL contains this part. So if this condition is true, then I'm going to send an event to Pinterest. Then let's name the tag and click Save. Then let's go to Tags, New, Tag Configuration, and let's use the Search feature where we will enter Pinterest. And here's the tag. Now let's enter the Pinterest tag ID. If you have already implemented the Pinterest tracking before, you probably have a variable that looks something like this, which is Pinterest tag ID, and here is my ID. Now, if you haven't done that yet, then you can find the tag ID by going to Pinterest ads, then ads, conversions, and here you will find the tag ID right here. If you cannot see the tag ID right off the bat, then keep looking because it is somewhere there. For example, I can also access that ID right here and in some other places. So keep looking. So when you get the tag ID, then you can paste it right here, or as I recommend, you should create a constant variable and you can do that by clicking this button and then click plus icon, variable configuration, and then select constant. And here you should paste that tag ID like this. And then you will name this variable and then that variable will be inserted right here. But as I've said, I presume that you have already implemented the base tracking code of Pinterest tag and you're already tracking page views. So I presume that you also have that variable. So for example, in my case, I can click this button and then select my existing variable that will return this Pinterest tag ID. Then in the event to fire field, we should select what kind of event are we going to track. In this case, as I've said, we're dealing with the form. That is why the most appropriate event name is lead. This is optional, but you can also add the lead type. For example, if you have different types of how people can leave their email or their contacts for you, for example, maybe you have webinar sign up, newsletter sign up, maybe contact form or something else, then you can add some value right here. So in this case, I could enter contact form or something like that. Then in the triggering section, click anywhere, and then let's select that thank you page trigger that I have previously created. By the way, there's a very high chance that your form works differently. For example, maybe it doesn't have a thank you page. So if you want to learn more about how to track forms, then take a look at my Google Tag Manager course for beginners, and you will find a link to it below the video. Anyway, back to the main topic. So let's choose this trigger. And whenever a visitor lands on your thank you page, we will send a lead event to Pinterest. So let's name this tag Pinterest lead contact form or something like that. Then click save. Now it's time for us to test whether this event works properly. And we can do that by clicking the preview button in the Google Tag Manager interface to refresh the preview mode. Then I will go to contact. And for now, you will see that our 
lead tag hasn't fired yet. Now let me submit the form, then enter the message and click send. And here I am on a thank you page where the URL contains contact posted equals true. Now let's go to the tag assistant and you will see that on the container loaded of the latest page load, our lead event fired. And in fact, if we go to Pinterest interface, I mean the Pinterest ads, then you go to ads, conversions and tag manager, you will start seeing that the lead event has also been sent right here. It might take several minutes for this event to appear, but eventually it will be visible right here. Also, it is a good practice to have the Pinterest tag helper Chrome extension installed. I will post a link to this extension below the video. So once you click the link and install it, you will see an icon that looks something like this, or maybe it will be hidden in this list. So on that thank you page, you will see several events right here because we see that there are three events captured by the Pinterest tag so far on this page. So I will click this icon and I will see the pixel initialization event, the page visit event. So these were the prerequisites for this tutorial and I presume that you already have configured this in the past. And here is our latest event, which is lead event. I click it and we see some data, including lead type, which is contact form. So if you see the same things as I do, then it means that the Pinterest tag has been implemented properly and you're tracking conversions properly. So now you can go back to Google Tag Manager, click submit and publish these changes. So after we do that, then the conversion tracking will go live for all of your website visitors. And we can name it something like Pinterest conversion tracking and hit publish. If you don't publish these changes, then conversion tracking will not work. Now you might be wondering where can you use this conversion data in your Pinterest ads. Now this video is not about how to create ads. So I will be quite brief here and we'll just show you the direction where can you find that information. So go to ads, click create ad, and then you have to select your campaign objective. If you want to work with conversions, you should select conversions right here. And then you can enter various information like your campaign name, status, and all the other stuff. Also set the daily spend limit. So I will just enter 10 for demonstration purposes, then click continue. And here you'll have to also enter some targeting settings. But what is important for the context of this video is the optimization and delivery part. Here you will be able to select the conversion event against which you want to optimize your ads. So if we send the lead event, you will find it right here. However, it takes more time for the Pinterest to process that information. So for example, in the past, I have sent add to cart and checkout events. So checkout is the purchase event. So since I have sent them in the past, they are now available right here. Uh, unfortunately, I still cannot see the lead event, but eventually it will appear here. So you should be patient. And that's how you can configure conversion tracking with Pinterest Pixel and Google Tag Manager. Also, don't forget to test the incoming events in the interface of Pinterest ads. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius. This is Analytics Mania and I'll see you in the next video.